All right, let's look at the OLDB weight type. Uh, another quick one. First of all, it depends on who you ask, but uh, for me, in my experience, this can be an indicator of a DBCC problem. For instance, in the case of uh, CheckDB, uh, I would definitely copy the recent backup to another server and test it. Um, the highest weight types that I've seen in my career that relate to OLDB um, are generally when there's a, uh, a database that's corrupt. And what will happen is DBCC check DB will continue running uh, for a long time and you'll see this, this wait type go through the roof. And what it is is it's waiting for check DB to finish. So um, you will need to uh, take a, a good copy of it of course, and, and solve the problem from there. Or, you know, sometimes the corruption is, I don't want to say easy, but, you know, like you have a non-clustered index and you can get rid of it, but sometimes the corruption is, is a bigger problem. So, um, in fact, recently, what was it, a couple of months ago, there was a, a corrupt database that I had to solve. But uh, the OLDB weights was through the roof. So, uh, generally speaking, for most others, you're gonna, they're gonna name this as a network one due to link servers, um, or due to the way the query is um, or the, the way the query is accessed or whatnot. Um, usually nowadays, most things are ADO and uh, Entity Framework. So it is true that I haven't really seen an OLDB connection from an application in a while. Um, gosh, I was trying to think of, <laughs> like, because OLDB was like the old school, at least in my opinion, that is. Um, but ADO.net is what I predominantly use. And then, of course, there's Entity Framework. Um, so you may possibly see this, though, with some ETL relative to how you architect your solutions. Obviously, if you're going to use an OLDB connection, then yes, you'll, you may see it. That may be due to the weight type. Remember, uh, get only what you need to, then apply what you need on your smaller result set. Uh, the biggest mistake I see in development is people select star, don't select star, select the columns that you need. Um, make sure to, to use a where clause very rarely do you need to actually select every record from the table. And if you do need to select every record from the table, think in batches, okay? Stop thinking in, you know, 100 million records, okay? Think about how you can apply a batch so that you can start using where clauses and do some filtering, okay? And then, of course, the other thing, too, as well, because of the way this works and depending on the query, whether it's, um, well, depending on whether it's sending writes or whether it's sending over reads, uh, you want to definitely look at your disk performance metrics, and then, of course, finally, look at uh, the other weight types as they may be indicators of other problems like CPU pressure, memory pressure, etc. Uh, so for me, though, the, the biggest, the longest uh, OLDB weight I've ever seen had to do with the CheckDB, and uh, that was definitely an indicator of a problem. What happened was it would just run out of TempDB space, and then it wouldn't fail, it just would stop. And um, we wouldn't get like a failing message that said DBCC check DB had failed. Uh, but still, that was, that was indicative of a problem. And then, of course, when we moved that to another server and looked at the database, uh, then we knew, okay, there's some things wrong and we had to remove some objects.